Paddy, we're here at the end of the Advisory Council meeting in Amsterdam for European Utility Week 2019 and PowerGen Europe 2019. How was the day? Uh, very pleasing, very exciting. Obviously, it's the first time that uh, we've held uh, the two advisory board uh, meetings together. It's the first time the shows will actually run, run together next year. And uh, so it was very exciting to begin with. We were curious how uh, the, the generation program would be, uh, would be integrated, how the stories would run through each other, and uh, ultimately it's gone very well. It's been fascinating to see the dynamic. Now, as per your advisory councils, you've got a wide spectrum of people. You've got technology, utilities, consumer, consumer advocates, the EU departments. Um, I've got a left over with 10 different stakeholders. <laughs> so you have every type of, of point of view. And then you have, we had, what, eight tables with various topics, building out the summit programs, the hub sessions, new ways of interacting with people. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's, How big is this thing going to be? Uh, we're looking at uh, around about 2,000 delegates. Uh, you're looking at the summit sessions, the hub sessions, as you, uh, you explained. What was the most interesting thing was seeing that the themes are running actually through each other. So you have the decentralized generation, but that's also part of the uh, industrial uh, story that's yeah. taking place. Digital running across uh, everything from virtual power, power plants uh, through to uh, making power plants more, more efficient. So what was interesting as the day went on, seeing the, the tables referring to each other to incorporate what they're talking about in their program. So just to reinforce the fact that the shows running concurrently, co-located, is, uh, is ideal. The, well, was, I was on the digitization table, surprise, surprise. Um, you know, we, we ran out of paper with the new technologies that were coming down the line. So we had to draw a line somewhere. But as you say, it was just the, there's no more silos. They're, they're all, they're all kind of, there, there are, but they're, they're all kind of merging into each other and yeah. generation okay. transmission. Those kind of words are kind of getting old, right? Yeah, it, it's really just one. One sector, the, the Europe has built one vision going forward. So it's so important that uh, at an event like like ours, I say one event, but the co-location of PowerGen Europe and European Utility Week, those stories have to come together. Those uh, the learnings have to come together. And for me today, just really showed that the fact of, of co-locating this event was 100 percent the right thing to do. And I just can't wait to see the benefit that it's going to have for the sector in general. Well, November in Paris, place to be. Absolutely. Seems a long way away, but it won't be long going. 45 weeks, seems a long you're, way away. You're, you're counting I, down already. I count the weeks, I count the weeks. <laughs> but uh, really looking forward to it. The support of Paris and France in general is going to be a huge boost to the whole, sure. uh, the whole event. So uh, I'm uh, just delighted the way the day's gone. Now it's a case of interpreting everything we have and the com content team will be working very hard to, uh, to get that program uh, tight and uh, well, looking at all the flip charts, post-its, notes about your, it's not lack of content, it'll be, as you say, how, how do you packetize this for the most value for the, the attendees, right? That's, that's your challenge. I'm glad there's smarter people than me uh, working on that, so uh, it'll be great. <laughs> <laughs> With that, Paddy, thanks a lot. We'll see you, in, well, I'll see you many times, but I'll see you in, uh, in Paris in November. Paris. Thanks, Kevin. Thank you.